happy Tuesday, friends. It is uh, warm out today. Um, not sure what this is going to be like, what the day is going to be like when you actually watch this. Um, filming this on Monday. Um, so if you, this is a workout today that we can do inside if need be. Um, all you're going to need today is something to step up on and a nice firm wall. Um, so those are the two things that are going to be required for today's workout. Let's get ourselves going with a little bit of a warm-up. Um, we'll start off with uh, just one round through of the following. Uh, we're going to do 20 jumping jacks. Get ourselves moving. After our 20 jumping jacks, these are going to be squat rotations. So we're going to try to, if your knees and hips allow, um, we're going to try to go down into the bottom of a squat, rotate, touch a knee, rotate, touch a knee, and stand. Down into a squat, rotate, rotate, and stand. Um, let's shoot for eight of those, eight squat with the, ro with the hip rotation. Um, then what I would love for you to do is give me some Michael Phelps. We'll go ten of these alternating arm swings up to down top to bottom here, getting those arms loosened up, and then let's start with a uh, little bit of core work. We'll go down into a sit up, touch overhead, come up and touch in front. Let's do 10 of those, and then we're going to flip over and finish our warm up up with 10 Superman. Nice and controlled, one time through. Let's go and get that. All right, I wrote today's workout as a partner workout. So if you have a family member or a friend that you are comfortable being with, that you've been around with um, while still practicing social distancing, um, and you can get to work out with your friend, maybe over a Zoom, it could work that way as well. Um, then that would be my dream world is that you do this as a partner. If, it's go, if you're going to go as a partner, it's going to be 24 minutes. If you can't happen to find a partner, it's going to be 18 minutes. With a partner, I work for a minute and I try to get as many reps into the workout as I can. After my minute is up, my partner picks up where I left off and they try to get as many reps into the workout as they can and we go back and forth so that we each do 12 minutes of work or 24 minutes total. Only half of the time is work, the other half is rest. If I'm gonna go as an individual, I do cut your rest down a little bit. I want you to work hard for a minute, get what you can get done, and then rest for 30 seconds. Hard for a minute, rest for 30 seconds. And you're just gonna chip your way through the movements that we have um, written down. So, uh, I've got four movements. The magic number is 50 reps of each movement before you move on to the next one. If you still have time and you've gone through the list, so you've done 200 reps, you're gonna start back over again and you're gonna go back to the first movement and try to knock some more out. As many as you can get in the uh, time frame that you're going. Individuals would be 18 minutes, partners would be going 24. Let's talk about our movements. First movement, if you have a box that you're comfortable and is sturdy enough that you can jump on, you are going to jump on that box. I'm not crazy about jumping on this crate, so I'm going to end up doing step ups, step up and step down. You want to make sure whatever you're stepping on can hold your weight. That's my concern with this uh, crate. Uh, I want to, I'm not positive it can hold my weight, so I'm not going to, I'm not going to jump on it. Um, every time I stand up at the top of the box, that is one and then I come back down, stand up, open my hips up at the top, and back two. Not to be mistaken for this. This is, these are not complete reps. We wanna open up all the way, push the hip extension through. So I've got 50 of those. Either, either way, split between me and my partner, okay? The next movement that we're gonna do is going to be mountain climbers, right? plus left equals one. So, I would be here, one, two, three. I do my portion for my minute, my partner will pick up where I, where I left off. 
uh, and try to finish them up or do whatever they can. The third movement, we're going to go back to it. We've only done it one time. A lot of us thought I was crazy for putting it in the programming, but it's um, something that we can continue to work to develop. It is a pistol, which is a one-legged squat. showed you before, I need to hold my opposite foot. Just don't have that hip flexor strength. Switch over, down and come up. If um, you don't have the leg strength or the mobility slash flexibility to do it, you can do some different options. One would be a single leg sit stand with a chair. So I would be here, and I'm going to lower myself down and stand up. Switch over. Lower down and stand up. That's 50 total, uh, so 25 per leg on those pistols. The last movement in the workout is called a plank walk, and a plank walk is where I'm going to need the wall. Uh, I want to be uh, about an arm's length away from the wall. I'm going to set myself up into a plank. I'm going to put my hands up on the wall. I'm going to go on the surface here. Up on the wall and then back down. Two, three, four. Careful you're not on a slippery surface. That does make it more challenging. Um, you want to have some good grip on your feet there. Um, but we're trying to get our both arms up onto the wall. If you don't have the ability to do a plank walk, not there yet, core-wise or shoulder strength, then go ahead and do shoulder taps. Shoulder taps would look like this. One, two, three. You'll see that two taps equal one repetition. Nice tight plank with that, shifting the weight, tapping the shoulders. Like I said, we keep rotating back and forth if we're working with a partner. You work a minute, I work a minute, you work a minute, and we try to get as many repetitions as we can in that 24 minutes. Working as a solo, work a minute, rest 30 seconds. Work a minute, rest 30 seconds. Don't move on to the next movement until you've completed the movement you're doing, all 50 reps. Let's have a blast with this one, y'all. All right, good workout. Let's cool it down. Um, I want you to start off uh, your cool down with a uh, Samson stretch, which is going to be that nice long lunge. Open up the hips, reaching up nice and tall towards the sky. I'm trying to really extend my back hip here. And then I'm going to switch over to the other side. Extend that back hip. Okay. Now I'm going to take it down to the floor. We're going to do our hurdler stretch. Those squatters might be sore from the pistols uh, tomorrow, so we're going to try to minimize that as much as we can. Make sure those legs are able to work. We do have some squats coming up on Wednesday. And switch it over to the other side. Looking for 20 to 30 seconds per side here on these stretches. Good. And then we're going to finish up with some knee hugs again today. Again, biggest thing I'm worried about you being sore from is going to be those pistols from this workout today. So that's why I'm hitting up your quads and your glutes in this stretch the most. Each leg, 20 to 30 seconds. Nice big hug. Pull it on in. Awesome. Have a great Tuesday. Boom.